now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Amari's Revenge. The Goddess Next Door is confronted by a new being queen out for revenge at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in this inaugural Isis series adventure. Get your copy of Isis, Amari's Revenge in paperback and e-readers at Amazon.com and online booksellers everywhere. A Florida man took the lives of his mother, his cousin, and his ex-girlfriend's new partner in a killing spree that went on over an hour before he wound up getting shot and killed in a shootout with police. Now, in this disturbing alleged incident that took place in Manatee County, Florida, 28-year-old Javante Bryce went on a shooting spree where he wound up murdering his mother, murdering a cousin, and the new lover of his ex-girlfriend over the course of an hour after driving to three separate locations. Now, Javante Bryce had talked all about planning this murder spree on social media for an extended period of time, leaving notes that to tell people to take care of his kids by his multiple baby mamas and to also be able to look out for other people in his life. Now, Javante Bryce, as he went out to participate in this murder spree, started to go to a Motel 6 where his mother was staying with a boyfriend and other siblings that, he, that were a part of his family. And as he went to visit this Motel 6 with a 38 caliber revolver, he shot and murdered his mother, then left that location, headed over to a cookout where his cousin was attending, and shot her in the back at that, at that cookout, then left and drove to another location and went to murder the new lover of his ex-girlfriend, then headed over to the home of another ex-girlfriend, and as he headed over to the home of this other ex-girlfriend, he had told her he had needed to kill her and was about to take her life before somebody talked him out of it, and after being talked out of it, Javante Bryce then fled the scene, where he eventually wound up getting confronted by Manatee County Police, and after being confronted by Manatee County Police, he was shot and killed by police after having an exchange of gunfire. Now, the Manatee County Police see the actions of Javante as an isolated incident. However, when I take a critical examination of the actions of Javante Bryce, they definitely fit the pattern and profile for beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. Now, some reports are saying that Javante Bryce had a series of issues as related to his mental health, and I have to wonder if that whole mental health situation that Javante Bryce had was brought on by two things that could have been the motive for these murders, one, him being possibly having been emasculated by the women in his life because he possibly grew up in a single mother household, and the other could have been him possibly having been under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Now, when it comes to many beta males, oftentimes because they are raised in single mother households, these men have really serious issues due to the fact that they don't really have any understanding of how to navigate life as a man due to the fact that they have been raised by a woman. And that could have been part of the foundation for the issues that, that led to Javante Bryce being motivated to participate in these murders of these selected family members and selected ex-girlfriends, what could have possibly led to him being motivated to participate in these murders is the fact that he possibly felt emasculated by all of these women in his life, and because he felt like he had no agency or power in his life as a man due to the dysfunctional way he was raised by those women, it could have been this that motivated Javante Bryce 
to actively go out here to willfully and intentionally take the life of his own mother, take the life of that selected cousin, and take the life of the new lover of that ex-girlfriend. And it could have been the thing that led to him looking to go after another girlfriend because he possibly, these women made him feel powerless. And because these women made him feel powerless, what happened with Javante Bryce is because he felt emasculated as a man. This made him feel very frustrated and angry about him being able to navigate life as a man. And this is where he wanted to go out here and destroy the lives of these women because he felt this was one way of him taking power in his life as a man before he wound up leaving this world. And when it came to Javante Bryce, maybe he felt really powerless about being a man as related to life because he just did not know how to make life work in this world. Now, yes, this guy possibly had lots of baby mamas, but the whole thing is even though he had all of these baby mamas, he was in a codependent relationship with these women where these women all had power over him but he could never really take that power over his own life because possibly he never understood how to take power as a man because he was never raised to learn male life skills or male survival skills and because he was never raised to learn male life skills or male survival skills he never knew how to take his power as a man and as he was emasculated by these women what this did was build up all of this frustration that this man had. And as that frustration built up, what he looked to do, as, as what I read with reports, was look to escape. And I believe that he basically, as he looked to escape through alcohol, as one of the reports said about one of his sisters said, this is what led to him going into a state where his mental health started to go into a state of decline. And as his mental health began to go into the state of decline, what happened is, as he was drinking the alcohol, this is basically where his inhibitions were lowered, and he started to act on impulses. And as he started to act on impulses, he wound up getting more violent, because according to police reports, they said that Javante Bryce had a history of domestic violence and a history of episodes where he wound up sh doing things like shooting himself, and law enforcement had basically made it where this man was not able to be able to have access to guns and had been, again, put on hold. But the whole thing is nobody ever followed through to get this man the help that he needed. And because nobody followed through to get him the help that he needed, eventually what happened with Javante Bryce is that he wound up falling through the cracks of our healthcare system and as he fell through the cracks of our healthcare system, what happened to Javante Bryce is that he became more and more frustrated, more and more angry, and became more and more despondent, feeling like there was no hope as related to his life, feeling like there was no more hope in his life because he was extremely despondent about there not being any way for him to take power as a man. And because he felt like he couldn't take power as a man, what he wanted to do was take power away from the women in his life who he felt had more power than he had in a final um, effort to try to get revenge against those people who basically he felt emasculated him. That's what I believe possibly motivated Javante Bryce to go on this murder spree and target these specific women. I believe he went on this killing spree to target these specific women because he wanted to basically get even with these women who basically he felt had more power than he had and went out here and could go out here and emasculate him with the ultimate weapon many women have, which is their mouth, because many women are the masters of oral combat. And because many women are masters of the of oral combat, many men can't win an argument against a woman. So what they do is look to go get a weapon. And as they look to go get a weapon, they think that this will be an equalizer for them as related to these, these ar emotional arguments these women make. But these emotional reactions to these women 
I just show how powerless these men get. And I believe what happened with Javante Bryce is, again, he wanted to get that power back first by going to take the life of his mother because she was the one who had the most power over him as related to dominating and emasculating him because when it comes to boys raised in single mother households, many of these women are domineering and emasculate their sons. And as they emasculate their sons, what they do is destroy that boy's ability to have confidence. And when they destroy that boy's confidence, what that does is make them where they feel like they have no real power or agency over themselves. And as they grow older, what they do is get into a series of codependent relationships where the women have all the power. And that basically was possibly what motivated Javante Bryce to go from his mother to the cousin and go to the cousin because she possibly was a bully who emasculated him and talked down to him and belittled him, talking about how he was no good and stuff like that, because this guy basically was what we would call a pookie. And after going there, again, he at the cookout looking to take away her life and take away her power, he then went to the home of this bisexual ex-girlfriend who had a new female lover, and possibly this new female lover, what he wanted to do was take her life because she basically took away the power that he had as related to that relationship and being it, it being a heterosexual one, not understanding that this woman was possibly bisexual and was looking to choose another type of lover and wanted to take her life because he wanted to have that power over her. And after going to that place, he went to another ex-girlfriend to go murder her by saying he needed to kill her and the need to kill was really i believe having to do with him wanting to take the power away from these women by taking away their lives and wanting to take away their lives as the ultimate form of power looking to get that power that he felt that he never had as a man and i believe in the case of javante bryce possibly this is where he wanted this power because he didn't know how to function as a man. And because he didn't know how to function as a man, this is what led to his mind deteriorating because he saw women having all the power. And as he saw women having all the power, he basically felt like he had nothing to lose. He felt like he had no hope. And he felt like the only way for him to be able to get power is to destroy the lives of those who dominated and subjugated him. That possibly was what he felt like. He felt like as a way to get that final rush of power before everything ended in, as related to things in infamous fashion where he wound up dying at the hands of the police. And when I look at the situation with Javante Bryce, again, he's definitely one of these men who was, was one who was in crisis and one in crisis definitely basically because of the dysfunctional way he was raised in black female single mother household, in a black female single mother household, where he was possibly emasculated, and then again, again, in these codependent relationships with women, where he never felt like he could have that power as a man to be the head of his household, and as he was put in the role lesser than a dog that I talk about in my book, why 70% of black women are single, by girlfriends, by cousins and peers that were female, this is what, again, built up all of this anger. And again, this got exacerbated when Javante Bryce wound up doing things like drinking alcohol because one of the sisters said that he drank alcohol and got emotional. And as he got emotional, basically he got despondent. And I have to wonder, again, this is me speculating, if he was smoking marijuana. Now, no reports say he was smoking marijuana, but I believe that possibly that could have also been a factor because when it comes to beta males like this, they do use alcohol and drugs to escape. And when they go out and smoke up, what happens is this changes your chemical imbalance of your brain and creates a chemical imbalance in your brain that basically has an impact on somebody's mental health. That's what I believe also had a factor here as related to Javante Bryce. I believe that he wound up, again, not only drinking, but smoking marijuana. And the marijuana could have possibly led to the deterioration of his mental health. And that could have exacerbated this whole situation as related to his frustrations about feeling powerless to the point where he acted impulsively looking to participate in this murder spree. Again, targeting these specific women for death 
targeting these specific women as related to taking their lives and really showing me what, what we really have a serious problem with a lot of men. A lot of men really don't feel like they know how to take power over their own lives or set a course for setting a new direction for their lives. And because these men do not know how to set a course for themselves or take leadership over themselves, what they believe they have to do is destroy the lives of the women around them instead of going out here and taking their power as a man. And taking your power as a man is something that God gave every man because he gave men dominion over the earth. He made men stewards over his order on earth. And, but many men do not know about their power as a man because they have been raised in this feminist and gynocentric society where they have been raised in these female-headed households and in these female-headed households they see the women having all the power and when they see women having all the power this basically frustrates these men and frustrates these men because they try to find a logical solution to a, a situation where they can have power but can't find a solution because many of the women around them are emotional and because those women are emotional, these men don't know how to solve the problem uh, as related to things because the way they were raised is to, they were taught that men were enemies and men were demonized as a threat, not understanding that you need to find other men and you need to find other men who will teach you male life skills and teach you how the world works because the world works differently for a man than a woman. And when it comes to a heterosexual black man, the world works completely different than it does for any other white or non-black man in this world, and even that of black women. And sadly, many black males don't get this information because they have been taught that another black man is an enemy. And because they've been taught that a black man is an enemy, what they do is they wind up walking away from the very men who could go out here and help them because many of these men didn't have fathers to teach them how the world works and how rough and hard the world is and because those men don't learn how hard the world is what they do is go into this vicious cycle of trying to make things work but then things don't work because you're using female life skills and female approaches to life and that's what I believe Javante Bryce was doing using female approaches to life trying to make female life skills work as related to the world as related to men and that possibly was also a factor as related to his leading to his deterioration of mental health was him again trying to make the world work the way it works for a woman because he did not know how the world worked for a black man and that's the whole sad part about Javante Bryce this man basically was on a road to self-destruction because he didn't get the things that he needed from men in the community especially black men in the community and because he didn't get that information from other black men in the community sadly this black man in crisis wound up taking the lives of people in his family the people who, we, who you would go to for support but a lot of these guys don't know how to get support from women because a lot of times with these women they look to meet economic needs but can't really meet the social needs that a man needs no those social needs that a man needs to be met need to be met by other men and sadly in the black community there is no support system for a black man and because there's no real support system for a black man a lot of black men like javante bryce don't become functional men who can support other men no, they just wind up becoming another tragic statistic in America's ongoing man crisis. Now, if you want to learn more about what leads to many of these men winding up on a dark road where they participate in self-destructive and violent behavior like this and how to take a man off the road to being a man in crisis, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis at other online booksellers like draft to digital Google Play, Barnes & Noble, and big box retailers like Walmart and Target. And if you'd like to see me make more videos about the man crisis, you can send a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.
Now available in paperback at e mirrors Isis, Dark Incubus. The goddess next door gets enthralled in a romantic entanglement with an evil Incubus in this all-new Isis series adventure. Get your copy of Isis, Dark Incubus in paperback and e-readers today. Now available in paperback and e-readers, John Haynes' Illuminati, a man who rules the world, takes on the head of the global elite in this all-new action-packed John Haynes series adventure. Get your copy of John Haynes' Illuminati in paperback and e-readers at Amazon.com and online booksellers everywhere. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.